Hey, good morning. Matt Halseth here with Muscatel Burns Ford in Holly, Minnesota. You're looking at the 2011 F250 that you inquired about here. Um, stock number F3685A. Um, this vehicle we have priced at $44,995 right now. This is a 2011 King Ranch diesel, 6.7 in this truck, 4x4. Comes with a nice Continental tires or brand new tread. This truck's only got around 18,000 miles on it. 2011s do come with the diesel and urea mix in them. Um, there's your nice uh, footstep on this pickup. Touches keypad. It is a Lariat Edition King Ranch. So, I mean, you get a few features that you may notice, like the <coughs> color matched uh, grill on the front there. Also, got a bug deflector on here. King Ranch, this is the custom color for the King Ranch, too. You get the white with the goldish color bottom. This one does, does have a ton of cover on it as well. Mud flaps. I believe they're the chrome mud flaps. As you can see. Pickup really doesn't have any surface scratches or anything. It's, it's a clean truck. One owner. Local trade. Does have the backup camera built in there. That ties into the GPS system. Box is pretty clean. I mean, you get a few scrapes and scratches here and there, but not too bad. Looks like they did have a fifth wheel plate. Um, I think he had a camper he hauled with this. This one does have the backup sensors on it as well for backing up. It'll let you know how close you're getting this stuff. Open the door up. Nice clean tan interior here with the King Ranch leather. Seat's got the darker, darker saddle leather tone to them. This pickup does have auto start built in on it too. That's what the two X is for the key. Put it on the starter up here. As you can see, miles on this pickup are 18, 130. Um, give you a few breakdowns of the gauges and the clusters here. Um, left side here controls the different settings. You can do field history, you can go up and uh, go to trip, you can go to gauge mode, truck apps. It's got a few things in there, trailer tow information's in there. Quite a bit of information at your fingertips, literally. Pretty cool stuff. Alrighty. Um, got the window controls on the side here, window locks. Up here you do have your power programmable seats, um, foldable mirrors, you hit the button, the mirrors fold in. Comes on the King Ranch there. You also do have power adjust in or out on the mirrors, you hit the out button, the mirror does move out for towing to make it a little easier to see. It's behind it, it's a nice feature to have. Um, right down here, this button does control in and out of your pedals, so I mean if you watch when I push it, Pedals go down, pedals go up. Right side controls your radio functions, uh, sync system, media player, phones, all that stuff off of those controls. Um, two high, four high, four low control. You have a power switch right here as well. And another power 12 volt outlet in the front up on top. And there's one more I believe in the center console here to complete that for the power outlets. Um, heated, air conditioned seats, uh, navigation system, dual climate control, a bunch of cup holders in the center, this is where your brake controller is placed, and you got the sync system on the side here. Let me shut that air off because that is kind of loud. Um, sunglasses holders, you got two up on top, <coughs> excuse me, and this control actually, there's no center if this is for the rear glass, power sliding rear glass. And this one also does have the home link system for your garage door opener as well. Plenty of storage. I mean, you got side console storage here. 
on both sides if I can get down there um, and I did say there's a sync system right there you can plug in an uh, iPhone any type of device that will play music and you also do have the storage console in the center here that inner panel is movable you can take that out and just put whatever you'd like in there as well let's jump out and take a look at the back seat here and see what we got to offer back there As you can see, I mean, there's there's a plenty of room here when you when you come to the truck. Plenty of storage in the doors. This one does have the option of the cup holders in the center here. Um, nice, nice seat color. Clean truck. Also got power outlets here. You got a plug in, and also another power outlet. So that's that's four four plugins and uh, one uh, normal household outlet. It looks like it's 110 volt, 150 watt. Uh, seats are lockable underneath. You can lock storage in there, whatever you want. Otherwise, you can lift it up, and you do have nice, uh, nice lockable storage in this pickup as well. Same with the center console. That is also lockable as well on this truck. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to shoot me an email back. Uh, M. Halseth. I believe it should be attached on there, but south at moscatel.com. Um, any other questions, Gary, just let me know. Um, this pickup is here, just got on our lot and is priced to sell. So any questions, let me know. Have a great day.